Hey everybody, welcome to another video from the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico and I have a really fun project for you today. It is super simple and super easy featuring this gorgeous designer series paper that coordinates with the Fresh as a Daisy suite. In fact, our paper is called Fresh as a Daisy. I had to double check because I wasn't sure. But I love this piece. It's got all these fun sections that you can cut up. And so I wanted to make a card with this section right here. Now, this is part of our, our Fresh as a Daisy All-Star Video Class Bundle. Now, this is a PDF that you can either purchase for $15 or earn for free with a $50 purchase in my Stampin' Up! store. And there are 12 fabulous video tutorials with photos and... Um, dimensions in both English and metric units. So no matter where you are in the world, you, we've got you covered. Um, and this is just a really great, great uh, PDF this month with this bundle. I really, really like the projects. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece and cut it up. Okay, I actually already have one that I've started cutting. So I'm going to cut that because I want to preserve this gorgeous piece, but not for long. I'm not one of those people that hoards their DSP. I like using it. So I'm going to take my trimmer and put this in um, to line up with the design. And I'm just going to cut out this little spot. And then there's little marks on my trimmer blade on the side that let me see exactly where I've cut so that I don't cut off anything I don't want to. All right, and I'm going to repeat that on this side. And then you can kind of just feel it click into that spot and look at that there is our piece of DSP now I'm going to actually trim this just a skosh more because I want to put another layer of cardstock on here so I'm just going to cut off a little bit off the side and a little bit off the bottom so it ends up being about three and seven eighths by five and an eighth inches now this piece I'm going to attach to a panel of wild wheat. And I have I have a little stamping confession for you. Wild wheat is actually turning out to be one of my favorite new in colors, which I know is pretty surprising. Um, I really like it, not maybe so much on its own, but I love adding it to other colors and finding how it, nice it looks with other colors. So we're just gonna add it to our card like this and I will attach this in a minute but first what I want to do is take and die cut this little label this is part of our dies that coordinate with the um, cheerful daisies bundle which I've got this set right here so there's dies um, and that includes this little label so we're gonna die cut this one um, and then I will be back and we will put our card together Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> now we're gonna cover this layer up so it's no big deal. And um, I'm just gonna adhere it to my cardstock like so. And there we are. Oh, but first, there's more, hold on. <laughs> I wanted to do a little stamping. Now I think we often forget that you can actually stamp on your designer series paper. And by the way, did you know that the designer series paper is 15% off this month. It's not every single one, but most of our designer series papers are on sale for 15% off, which I think is fantastic. So I thought I would just add some of these um, daisies, just a little bit here on the bottom, kind of like it's a field of flowers, like that. Okay, and doesn't that just kind of add a fun little touch to this card? I love that look. All right, um, I think I'll also stamp my sentiment. I was kind of deciding whether or not I wanted to do it in Pebbled Path, which is gonna be the color of our card base. Well, maybe I will do it in Pebbled Path. Oh, we'll see, we'll see how this looks. I think it'll be okay. All right, so I've got my sentiment, wishing you the brightest birthday, which I think is just a sweet sentiment. Um, one of the ones I love in this set as well is Oops, a daisy, so sorry. I think that's so cute. So anyway, I've got that on here and we're gonna add this to our card in just a moment. 
first we want to attach it to that panel. And I love that I die cut that label out of the center. It's just kind of a way to save on your paper um, and <clears throat> not worry about finding another scrap. Since these are the new in colors, I don't have my stockpile of scraps built up quite yet. And so that's kind of just a handy way to do things. All right, now I'm gonna add um, my card, or I'm sorry, my little label to this, but I wanna add some ribbon as well. And I think I'm gonna use some of the Pebbled Path because that's gonna kind of tie everything in together for me. And I'm just gonna do a little loop of ribbon like this. So I'm not adding a ton of ribbon, just a little bit. And what I love about that is it gives you the nice finished look by having some ribbon on your card. Um, but in this little loop, it doesn't add a lot of bulk. So your card's not gonna get thick with a knot or anything. There's not gonna be a big lump or bump in your card. It's just gonna be fantastic. All right, so I'll put a little dimensional on the two opposing corners, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive down to kind of tack that ribbon in its place. And we'll cover the rest of it up with our label, like so. And I'm just gonna put that at a little bit of a steeper angle. There we go. And this, <clears throat> pardon me, just looks so lovely on here okay and I just love the contrast of the blue sky and then the um, wild wheat at the bottom there okay oh isn't that a good looking card all right let's take and attach that to the card base we're gonna add a little panel of white on the inside and for this you can really do a lot of different things. I'm gonna just do a little bit of stamping with that same um, daisy along the bottom, just to kind of add a nice touch to our card. I'm flipping them around a little bit so they're not all exactly the same. And <laughs> just making sure none of that wet ink is picked up on my panel here because that would be no fun all right we'll put that on the inside and then last but not least of course we have to embellish this so i'm going to pull out my in color dots now these i have been hitting pretty hard i love these dots they're really fun and easy to use they're also really nice and flat so they will go really nicely on your card. And I'm gonna pull out uh, a couple of these wild wheat ones, like so, and just add a nice little touch to my card. Now look at how pretty this card is. So easy. You can make very similar cards with the different panels from this paper. Sorry, let me bring out the full piece. We've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then these smaller panels, you can also do similar cards um, with just a little smaller hunk of the paper on the front as well. So this is a really great one to play with. Now again, if you would like to either purchase this designer series paper at a discount or um, get the all-star tutorial PDF, you can simply shop the links in the description below or click over to my online store and earn it for free. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. If you could give me the thumbs up, I'd be so grateful. Don't forget, another way you can actually earn this PDF is by joining my team. When you join uh, Stamp It Up this month, you can get an extra $30 in your starter kit for free. So you can choose $155 of products for just $99 plus tax, no shipping. There's really no reason to not do this. It's such a great deal. If you have questions about it, just give me a shout out. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, friends, have a great day. Thanks again for stamping with me. Thumbs up would rock my world, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!